showing a community what they have within themselves, not telling them what they should be, not telling them what they could be, telling them what they are. They're a beautiful, beautiful microcosm of people. But there's other students that aren't as equipped or they don't know or they just feel hopeless and we need to be providing support for those students because they're currently falling through the cracks. I really do, I really do want to help people. Yeah, Just like Rising Scholar has, has helped me, I want to help people too. Hi, I'm Julia Sokenu. I'm the interim president here at Mopac College. And uh, first of all, I want to thank you for taking the time to think about Mopac College and understand um, the value that we bring to this community, the value that we bring to our students. I always say, you know, we're in the human development business. At the end of the day, our goal is to strengthen families. Our goal is to strengthen our community. And the goal of this college is to provide our students who come from a variety of walks of life. You know, our students are foster care students. Our students are individuals who live in beautiful homes, you know, and, and what you think of in the, as, as stereotypical of this part of Ventura County. And then you have students who, you know, are starving, who are living in their cars. And we have students who, you know, who have wonderful lives, but they are struggling with mental health issues. We save lives. That's what Mopar College does. That's what you can help us do as our supporters, as individuals who invest in the lives of our students. I guess I'm what you would call an at-risk student. And what I mean by that is um, I'm a self-supporting student in a harsh economy <laughs> and um, trying to get a higher education in a world where it's really, really hard. The foster care system moved me to Simi Valley, and so I decided to go to Moore Park College, and I didn't realize how lucky I was to have made that decision and to be placed next to that school because it helped me with my educational journey in a way that I couldn't even imagine. So my name is Griseldi. Um, I currently go to Sequoia Middle School, um, and I am a proud Rising Scholar. How proud are you? Really proud. Rising Scholars is very enthusiastic um, of going to school and pursuing um, whatever makes you happy. They give you the opportunity to do that. They give opportunities to kids that don't have that opportunity. Since many kids like me, whose parents come from a different country, Rising Scholars has helped me greatly. It's kind of like a like a parenting program, they parent and they teach you things that, well, my parents don't know. If they have that pathway to success that a Rising Scholars program provides them, that pathway allows students who don't have college in their vista, who may not have a family member who's graduated from a Mopar College or a USC or UCLA, uh, but they have that resource, they have that support, they have those counselors, they have those role models and those mentors with the academic support that they need to be successful at college so we connect with them while they're in middle school, we connect with them while they're in high school. That's what Mopar College does. Rising Scholars, there are counselors that go to your school once a month and they discuss on topics like time management, um, skills you can use in school, getting to know people better, communication skills, all those things that you use every day. What Rising Scholars is doing is they're giving students in middle school an opportunity to find guidance and mentorship and realize the importance of education because honestly, it's the only way out. This, this program is changing the world one child at a time. What I've found in nearly 40 years as a police officer is that when you really distill down social issues through, throughout communities, it comes down to people that are desperate when they don't have hope. And that is the one thing, interviewing thousands of gang members during my career, well, the consistency I found is they didn't have hope. But what I found starting back in about 2014 was most social organizations and for sure police departments were emphasizing prevention with gang and criminal and drug activity at about 16 years old, maybe 14, 15. What I realized is it's too late. But what does this have to do with rising scholars? 
Well, guess what? It wasn't only law enforcement that was making the mistakes. So were universities and community colleges. Nobody was doing a college expo fair for a third grader. They would just laugh at you, okay? Then came along rising scholars. I mean, I got goosebumps seriously as I talk about this, is if you're gonna get to a kid and you're gonna tell a kid, we want you to go to college, you're not gonna go to them on June 12th of their senior year and tell them, by the way, we want you to go to college. So on comes the beauty of rising scholars. It does this. It plants the seed of hope into a child as young as third grade. Safe Passage carries them from kindergarten to middle school to the Rising Scholars program. If they track through for Safe Passage, they get sent to Moore Park College at least one full day per year. Kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Mostly two times a year, they go between Cal Lutheran University and Moore Park. So that means before they hit middle school, they've gone to higher education 10 days before sixth grade. We're not telling you what your path is. We're telling you what's inside of you. And then they commit to Rising Scholars that gets them through middle school. And obviously we see the kernels that these seeds of hope have planted. They see kids that look like them, that are successful at the community college and the universities. And those kids are not gonna become gang members. I've known Tim Hagel since about two years. He's a great guy. He serves um, food every weekday for kids since we are not going to school and many kids are not getting the benefit of a free lunch. He takes the responsibility and gives out free groceries every Saturday. He's great. He's great. He helps so much. He, he stood up to something that everybody ignored and really tried to help the children who really need it. Safe Passage hands them off to Rising Scholars. Rising Scholars hands them off to high school, works with them all through there. High school brings them all the way back to the community college. And when you plant that seed one child at a time, since 2014, our gang activity in the communities that we have placed Rising Scholars has been reduced by over 40%. They've never reduced in 35 years. And now, because of the programs, it's not an increase of suppressive policing. It's a whole new paradigm that Rising Scholars has provided, and that is early exposure, early seeds of hope. And that's really what it's about. We also, as you know, we provide scholarships to students, and many of our students are struggling. And they're now here at the institution, and they need support. We provide them those resources so they can be successful. That's what Mopa College does. That's what your support and your donation to this institution does. And something that I really enjoy about what Moore Park College Foundation is trying to do is they're trying to make more scholarships available for people like me and make those resources more accessible. And I think that that's a big part of it. We need resources and we need them to be easily accessible and we need to know how to get them. And Moore Park College Foundation is doing that. I get a scholarship for learning, which I love to learn, and learning things that can benefit me greatly in the future. I'm also a very diligent student, and that means a lot to me. My grades mean a lot to me. Getting the most out of my education means a lot to me, and it was impossible to do that and work enough to even barely get by. Some of the lessons they taught me um, about time management, how to manage my time efficiently, and at the same time as I'm learning, I get a scholarship. Another part of being an adult and being self-supporting is food and groceries. You know, you don't think of all the finances that go into self-supporting. You think rent, you know, utilities, but there's so much else. What about gas? What about food? So I think that Raider Central is going to be a great resource for students like me who needed food stamps, we needed assistance, and we weren't able to get it with the systems in place. So if you are a student who is struggling and you are food insecure and you haven't been able to find resources, Raider Central is a great resource. You can go every Friday and they will fill your trunk with food. And this is the doing of Moore Park College Foundation, which is a nonprofit which allows them to have their own food share. I am the uh, basic needs coordinator for Raider Central, which is a new program that we do here and that program is designed for providing food subsidies to students who need it along with any other assistance students may need for housing, mental health, uh, social health, 
um, academic success, LGBTQ, you name it, we just about provide for it. And also for the veterans and anyone else that needs services, not only for the students, but the student and their family. Mopa College allows dreams to flourish. That's what we do. As I said, we're in the human development business. Our students start off with the intention of being the very best that they can be. So Mopa College is here to help students achieve their full potential. And we do it through our scholarships, we do it through our basic needs center. We'll continue to be here for all our students. We need you to help us as we do this work. That's what Mopar College does. We do that and we look forward to your support in helping our students reach their full potential. The community is the college and the college is the community. It goes together. I'm very fortunate to have the opportunity of Rising Scholars and they have motivated me to keep pursuing what I love and which is education. I didn't have an easy life by any means, but going to Moorpark College definitely made me stronger. I know that out there right now, there are students that feel the same way that I felt when I was growing up. They feel hopeless and they feel like there's just no means to an end and um, there is hope. <laughs> Thank you to all the people who make Rising Scholars possible for changing my life and hopefully changing many more to come. <laughs>